Hello everyone, Jeff the Greenerview here. Does this tomato plant look a little off color to you? It has a purplish or bluish gray appearance. That is not a normal dark green of a healthy tomato. If you look closely at the leaves, the veins look a little purple, while the rest of the leaf is a bit yellow. This purple coloring to the veins is a symptom of phosphorus problems. The purple color develops when the lack of phosphorus causes sugars to accumulate in the plant. Anthocyanin pigments then develop that are purple. If phosphorus levels in the plant remain low, the purple areas may die and turn brown like we're getting on a lot of these leaves. Phosphorus is one of the three main nutrients that are in fertilizers because plants use so much of it. It is used by plants for root growth, stem and leaf growth, and for fruit development. It's an important part of the metabolic processes that keep a plant alive. There may be plenty of phosphorus in the soil, but the, if the plant can't get it, then you have a phosphorus deficiency. This often occurs when tomatoes are planted too early in the spring and the soil is too cold for healthy tomato plants. If there's a phosphorus deficiency early in the season, the plant may grow so slowly that it becomes a dwarf plant that doesn't produce many tomatoes or whatever it is that has that problem. If the plant is in a container, is growing hydroponically, or is in soil that doesn't have much phosphorus, such as a sandy soil, then fertilizer with phosphorus can be added to fix the problem. A soil test will determine if there is a phosphorus deficiency or other problems in the soil, that, such as too low or, or too high of a pH that may not allow the plant to absorb the phosphorus that is there. And so in that case, adding more phosphorus won't help. Plants use a lot of phosphorus, so even if there was plenty at the beginning of the season, there may not be enough at the end of the season, which is what I think happened here. This is in a pot, and so it used up all the uh, phosphorus. If the phosphorus deficiency develops late in the season, like in this case, the plant may stop producing fruit or the fruit may be small. There can be an acute deficiency where nutrients are rather suddenly used up uh, or unavailable, such as in too cold of a soil. Or there could be a chronic deficiency where there's a limited but continuous supply that is not sufficient for plant health. A chronic deficiency puts the plant into the survive range of plant health and we want it to move back up into the Thrive range. This tomato has been developing this problem for a few weeks. It's been in that Survive range for a while. I've been waiting for it to develop enough symptoms to be able to see the problem on the video camera, and I won't be adding any phosphorus because next week is our average first frost date, so I'll just harvest these tomatoes and just be done for the season. So what's this mean to me? Take a close look at your vegetable plants every time you harvest so that you can spot problems early. Take a close look at your other plants on a weekly basis, at least regularly, you know, like when you mow the lawn, not just to enjoy the plants, but also so that you can spot problems early. And this is Jeff for The Greener View. Thanks for watching.